Ne sesi yani kusura bak. Seni seni. Muammer abinin müritlerinde. Abi canım. Heute ist der 14. April 2013. Wir stehen in der Erfindermesse in Genf, in der Halle 7. Hoppla. Es wurde gerade der Motor gestartet. Doktor war mı, Doktor? Doktor var mı? Doktor. There are no cables. voor een demonstratie van een mogelijke vorm van vrije energie. Er zijn een aantal mensen hier zo, die allemaal nieuwsgierig zijn. En die willen allemaal het wonder wel eens aan schouwen. Is niet zo? Okay. Zet nog weer op nul punt. <laughs> ja. Je staat mooi op het plaatje hoor. Allemaal mensen, techneuten en idealisten. Uh, may I ask you, who, who are you? Your name? Smith. Herr Yildiz. Yildiz, Mohamed Yildiz. Okay. And you are the inventor of uh, this machine? Yes. Yes. And you are? Uh, I'm his legal advisor. <laughs> no, close friend. Uh, we are close friends and I'm... Uh, Very uh, important. Uh, and you are? I am Dick Korf. And I'm also busy with uh, uh, new energy, zero point energy, free energy. Okay. So this is my uh, my card. You are looking for a free energy for a long time, I think. Yes. You found it today, I found already, but this is an extra. Okay, bye bye. I'm very curious. Could we start? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. 
much. Cake is better. Cake must have been the pina de coco. The next one up here, not up. Iron there, no? Attention, huh? the photo, the photographs, yeah. What is now closed, it will be once September or not, depend on who is going to proceed with this. But now think where he put the petrol inside, yeah? Just think how he made it, yeah? It's up to you. For me, it's no matter. I want to feel the applause, you are. Yeah. 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 Bravo! Yeah. Okay, the, that is our demonstration. Yeah. We are here today not for, for a, a, a lecture whatsoever. One day, we'll be back. But especially the students, there is a lot of space for creativity. Yeah. It's not finished. Yeah. It's not finished. You need an hour to put it in uh, inside again? Yeah, he's going to work on it for put it again. But now you look around the touch and uh, yeah, for a while. Yeah. The tables are there, but otherwise it will be a problem. Sorry for that. Yes, but it's good in such uh, so many people. We did the same in Saturday in Germany with three professors from uh, physics. Yeah. They were, of course, very enthusiastic. But it was a small group. They could do it their way and so on. But then uh, it's a repetition. It's just showing these things. It's, uh, it's uh, for light. Light. Uh, but <laughs> did you do my reading? Hello viewers, welcome back. So a few months ago I created a Muammer Yildiz magnetic motor but only a housing, so that was stupid. But I, I promised that time that I will make a full inside design of this very famous, if not the most famous magnetic motor, Muammer Yildiz magnetic motor. So let's get to the drawings and see what's inside. Alright, so this is the Moana Real, this magnetic motor or magnet motor. So let's see, now this is the housing, just outside look how this all fits together. And now I design it, so the rest of it, so the inside, and you will see in, in X-ray how these all magnets are mounted on these cassettes and how this is all fit together. So let's start from beginning. Okay, so that's outside, this is the housing uh, which holds the stator and the rotor in its position. Yeah? So that's the all what we need outside to hold the machinery inside together. Yeah? So that's it. Now, for the purpose of easier explanation, I will, as always, hide a housing. Yeah? So now we hide the, uh, the housing and now we are left with the rotor and the stator. And what's, how to begin now? Okay, so that that would be the housing which holds the stator magnets or these stator cassettes together on the stator. Okay, so that would be our stator holder, let's say this way. Huh? Okay, so that's the first component. Second component are is for example the state uh, the rotor. Let's say, let's say that the rotor, this one, I will now zoom it and rotate it. So you can see if you see in this, if I zoom. You can see that the magnets are shifted yeah, like two it's each second it is in between yeah? or each 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 second yeah so they are shifted like for 45 degrees if we look it from this direction so so they are going like they are mounted in circle and then they are shifted just to be every second in between of two befores yeah? so that's the rotor not too complicated yeah really it does it does not pre present any special I don't know uh, design 
it's just shifted magnets in the circle. Huh? So that would be our rotor. Huh? And then we are left with the two types of cassettes which hold the permanent magnets on the stator. So let me take one first. So this is the first type with totally 25 magnets. So let me turn this around. I have to move it a little bit because I need it in the center. So that would be the first cassette with totally 25 magnets uh, designed and positioned in exactly this way how it's drawn. Yeah? So, so that's it. If I now put just very shortly in x-ray so you will now see everything yeah, from inside. So this is something which, which is really interesting. Yeah? So there are so many magnets yeah, in this motor. So let me move it a little bit. Yeah? So now you can see that there is a, I think 300, 400 magnets now in this setup. So, so, so all these cassettes, yeah, which I selected just one, are, are mounted in the circle. And there is a last type, which is on the top here. And you can see here is the difference. Yeah? And this, from my opinion at least, and uh, should be what enables this motor to rotate and not stop somewhere in between. Yeah? So that's the problem of all magnetic motors stop in the opposing magnetic field stop the magnet so they are shifted like you can see if I, I don't know which how I can put it the best like this way so this is how they're mounted on the stator on the bottom toward the center or toward the rotor and they how they should spin or they should help that this continues to spin yeah? and that's basically it so so in the middle as I said there is a rotor with uh, shifted magnets, so there are a lot of them on the, on the sh mounted on this housing, yeah, of the rotor housing, and and that's basically it. And now, as as I study this patent and available drawings on the internet, this should be the whole setup. It's not that difficult, yeah. But the problem is, I think that we cannot find the real measures. And even in the patent, there is a measures and uh, of the magnets, so it should not be a problem. But anyway. I cannot, I did not test this. There are very, there are several videos, so many videos on the internet explaining and showing this motor in operation and this is how it looks like inside. Yeah, so that's how I managed to design it and I spent some time on that. Let me unhide everything and, and this should be now the whole, the whole set. Yeah. So this is the Moamir Yildiz magnetic motor and it's designed from inside. That's what we are all interested in, not the outside. Okay, uh, I cannot say much more about this motor except that, yeah, you can see this is the special component here and this is the second type of the stator here, which is mounted in circle and this should all fit together and rotate our rotor which gives some output power. And this is basically it. So, I cannot say any more, anything else about this motor except what I told you and I hope you liked my 3D model and presentation. So until the next video, just stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.